I believe it was Mark Twain that penned, truth is stranger than fiction. Based on that premise today, we're going to talk about writing fiction based on truth. I'm Sharon Polk, and this is Practical Tips and Tidbits from an indie author. Nonfiction is all about the truth, the truth, and nothing but the truth. But fiction is all about describing events from your imagination, or people from your imagination, or settings from your imagination. So there's a little bit of truth in it, but a lot of fantasy, creativity, and imagination. For instance, I could see a person, and I can come up with a story about that person about where they've come from, about where they're going, about their life, who they are, that they're famous, they're an actor, or that they're homeless, anything. I can come up with a story about a plant. When you see a plant, what is the truth or the essential truth that you see in a plant? There are certain things about a plant that you can't change, right? The plant may flower, the plant may be green, the plant may be brown, the plant may is a living thing. All of these things are characteristics or truths about the plant, right? So you take essential truth about an object and then you turn it into creativity and imagination and fantasy. Now let me start by saying, if what you write is all true and you just rearrange it a little bit, then maybe you should be writing nonfiction and not fiction. Because when you write fiction, it's got to come from your imagination. It's got to come from a creative place. And so if you're more about writing about what's going on exactly, current events and things like that, your memoirs and, you know, the truth about somebody else, you may want to think about nonfiction. But if you're all about creating a scenario, imagining the person and making that person come alive, a situation or a place come alive, then you want to write fiction. But you have to have truth even in your fiction because nobody wants to read a book about something that wouldn't happen. Now let's take a true scenario. Let's say someone went out on a date and it didn't work out well. Well, you can take that scenario and you can change it with three phrases, shoulda, woulda, coulda. What should have happened on the date, what could have happened on the date, and what would have happened on the date if something else had happened. Use those three phrases to turn and to change things around to start to come up with scenarios and come up with creative things to write about. As a new writer, it may be hard for you to come up with something. I know in the first segment I said, just do it. And you should just do it. But some of you are thinking, I don't know what to write about. Well, that's what we're talking about, truth. You know, think about things you know about, you have experience on. That'll even cut down on your research. And this is a good exercise for a new writer because a new writer may not know what their niche is. A new writer may not know what they're good at writing. So a good way to figure that out is to take a situation or an experience that you've had and come up with some kind of creative story around it and make it totally different. Another way that we can use our true experiences to write is emotion, right? If you experience something, then you have that emotion somewhere in you, deep inside of you or maybe even on the surface, but you can pull from that truth, from that essential truth, that emotion, and you can write from that. Something that you smelled, biscuits the way they smelled, every Thanksgiving morning. You know, you can remember that smell and what you want to do is recreate that smell for your reader. You can do the same with a look, something that you saw, something that you heard, a noise, a creak. When I was young, I remember that the stairs at our house used to creak. So that's an essential truth, right? So when I was writing one of my stories, I was talking about one of the girls going up the steps and I could really hear that creaking from my childhood. And I listened to it in my head and I wrote about it on the paper. And that's what I do all through the book. I find some core truth about the subject or the event I'm gonna write about. And based on that feeling, that emotion, that sense, either because I heard it 
because I smelled it, because I saw it, because I felt it, because I tasted it. Based on one of those senses, I can come up with something creative and imaginative that happened. It doesn't matter how the essential true story ended. You can make your story end any way you want. It's the magic of fiction. It's the magic of imagination and creativity and fantasy. You can make people anything you want to make them. But remember, each and every one of your characters have some essential truths right? And you can't go against those in your fantasy, in your imagination, in your creativity. For instance, my characters were Christians. So there was a standard that I tried to uphold based on the fact that they were Christian girls, right? So when they weren't Christian girls, because they weren't always Christians, I could do certain things or have them do certain things that they didn't do once they were converted. There's certain truths just in romance. In romance, you may have two people who fall in love immediately, or you have those two people who don't get along and then they find each other, or you have these two people that are unlikely to be with each other. They're friends and one of them is seeing someone else, but then they fall in love. So you have these certain truths and these certain things that happen in romantic relationships. And so what you do is you grab one of those truths and you start writing about it. Why start with the truth? Well, it's just what Mark Twain said. The truth is stranger than fiction. So if you start with a real life situation and you can find some doozies, you can make a great novel out of one little idea of something that actually happened. I mean, that's why people love reality TV, because they like to see what happens to real people. And if you can make that character real, because the situation is so current to everyone and in their minds, you can write a great novel. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment below. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe. If you would like to be notified when I post a video, click the notification bell and you will be alerted. I post every Friday. My books are available on Amazon.com. There's a link below if you're interested. Also below are affiliate links. If you click on an affiliate link and you buy something, I will receive a small commission. Don't forget to check out my website, novellasbysharon.com. There's information on me and my books on my website. And don't forget to check out the next video. Grace and peace. See you next week.